Welcome back to 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series on thought experiments with a thought experiment in logic. This is going to be the iterated prisoner's dilemma. If you haven't watched the original video on the prisoner's dilemma, you may be confused. So, imagine we have our original prisoner's dilemma, but instead of just doing it once with one person, you do it a bunch of times. And we reverse the scale so that we're trying to get points instead of not get years. What would be the best strategy for getting the most number of points? Well, this was actually done with a series of computer programs that were all placed in a pot and forced to compete over and over again. The three that were used were a defector, a cooperator, and something called tit for tat. The defector would always rat its opponent out, the cooperator would never rat its opponent out, and tit for tat would start not ratting out and then would mimic whatever the other player's last move was. Defector versus defector, they would both rat and therefore gain a moderate number of points. Two cooperators would gain more points than that because neither of them would ever rat. And tit for tat versus tit for tat would kind of mimic the cooperators because they would both end up not ratting and therefore gain a lot of points. If you ended up with a defector versus a cooperator, however, the defector would get the maximum number of points because they would be beating on the cooperator who would never rat them out. A defector versus tit for tat, the defector would win the first round, but after that it would look like defector versus defector, and a cooperator versus tit for tat would look exactly like the cooperator versus cooperator. It should be clear that the people who are going to win are going to be the tit for tat program. This was actually done later with a bunch of different programs submitted by a bunch of different people from around the world. Lo and behold, the program that still won out of all of these different programs for the iterated prisoner's dilemma was tit for tat. This just seems to prove the old axiom, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Watch a new video every day this month at carneades.org and stay skeptical everybody.